Hello, welcome back. Um, today we're going to be looking at part number four on worksheet number one. If I look at part number four, my front view is missing. I'm going to first draw that in. My front view looks something like this. Right, it would be this view right here. Again, I'm going to start with a box that's two and a half by five. Here's my on shape. I'm going to hit create document. I'm going to label it part four. I'm going to start a new sketch on that front view. It doesn't matter what view you use. On the left hand side I'm going to turn these three eyes off. And I'm going to click on my front view. Again going back to my blueprint I'm going to use this point right here as my start point. It starts by going down two and a half inches and to the left, my five inches. Line tool for my start point, going down, click, 2.5, and then back to the left, five. Again, up by 2.5, and back to my start. All right, you can see I've got a bound object. Click on my isometric view, and my finished sketch. My extrusion for this is one and a half or 1.5. So I click my extrusion, I click my part, I type in 1.5 and hit my green check. But if you look at my part, there's a hole through the middle. So I'm going to add a new sketch to that front view and cut that middle out. Here's my new sketch. Click on my front view. Again, on my view cube, I'm going to go to the right, click on front. All right, there's another box that's right here in the middle. So I'm going to use my rectangle tool and simply create a rectangle. I'm not going to worry about the numbers right now. I'm going to come back and add them. All right, if I look at my blueprint, from the left-hand side to the left-hand side is one inch. Right-hand side to right-hand side is one inch. So let's do that. There's my dimension left hand side to left hand side right hand side to right hand side All right on the top I have half an inch from my top to my top from my bottom to my bottom half inch or 0.5 click on dimension top to top 0.5 bottom to bottom, 0.5. There, there's my part. I can hit my finished sketch, the green check here. Again, I look at things from my isometric view. Click my extrude. Click on the box I just made. You can see that it's adding material. I don't want that. I want it to remove. So I click remove. Let's make sure it's going all the way through with the same dimension we used before, and that's 1.5. my green check and I should see hole right through my part. Thank you.